Today's project is a very simple but elegant wall art piece that you could do in a day. It's something I'm going to try to do with the scrap wood that I have within the shop. You only need four pieces of wood. It's going to be four pieces of quarter inch 8x8 squares and four pieces of half inch 8x8 squares. That's all you'll need uh, as far as the wood for the project and then your scroll saw to cut out the pattern. So let's see what we can find in the shop. pieces here so let's get these cut down to eight by eight squares. pattern is two pages. You need two copies of each. You need to blow it up to 135% of the original copy. That's of the actual pattern itself, not the page. My computer won't do that, so I went to my local shop, Office Depot, and they made me copies of that at the 135% like the book says. So I got the four half inch eight by eight pieces. I got four quarter inch eight by eight pieces. The half inch will be the backer boards. We're gonna stain these to give it the effect of depth. So we'll put these to the side. Let's get these ready to go for the scroll saw. We got two each for each pattern. So we're gonna glue the pattern down to one and we're gonna use some carpet tape to put the two boards together.
I know you're not going to stick around and watch me scroll saw all this, so here's a picture of a squirrel while I finish scrolling. So we had a little problem with one of the patterns. I accidentally put it backwards. So on this one here, on one of the tails, if you see this inlay piece, this is actually should be the back of the piece like this. So that just don't look good. It's not gonna be pretty. So uh, two choices. I could re-scroll it to make everything go the right way, or I could just flip it over and use this side. By doing that, I might have to flip all of them over to this side um, which is no big deal how we can do that it's just a matter of having to sand off the backside fuzzies and I've got a new method of doing that I want you to check this out so anytime you scroll at, on the back side you're gonna have what they call fuzzies and that's just where the blade uh, comes up and down on the bottom side of the blade and it just leaves these little fuzzy edges like you see here. Most of the time you could sand them off with a little sanding pad, but even that, if you get fine fretwork, you can still see there's real fine fuzzies in there. And it's hard to get to, especially in the crevices. So something that uh, I've gotten through bearwood.com you need to check out is this new tool called the Marathon. It's a multi-function rotary tool that has different accessories. I have a 220 sanding grit wheel on it now that's going to take care of the fuzzies on these inside details of the cut. It has a little accessory kit that has different grits, different wheels, a lot of different functions uh, that you could use this rotary tool for. It's multi-speeds um, from low to very high and I think it's going to be a great accessory especially in scroll sawing because you can really get some soft details without damaging any of the wood. That's just beautiful. try to sand this with this or by hand I would break that off that is just real super thin you can see the movement in it but even with this rotary tool the marathon doing it super easy super light got right in there didn't even bend it this is an awesome tool thousand years later.
Well, that'll wrap it up for today's project. I'll leave a link down below of the book, Simple Wood, which is 40 different patterns that uh, you could do. It's really simple woodworking projects. That's really eloquent projects. So I'll leave a link down below to that, as well as the Marathon Rotary Tool that I used in the video, along with some other affiliate links that uh, tools I have within my shop between my scroll saw, my table saw, all that good stuff. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. Let me know what you like or, or dislike about the video. Uh, I'd, I'd love to make it better for you. But everything that I'm doing here is just to give back to the community that gave me so much. So with all that, I'd like to say, always remember, be kind to one another.